awesome. It was a great run. Laura Lewis was one of the roughly 3,500 people who, for the first time, ran in the Portlandathon. It replaces the Portland Marathon after an Oregon Department of Justice investigation into its former race director, Les Smith, found he was illegally loaning himself and his company's money from race coffers. After that, a lot of people weren't sure if the race was even happening. It was really sad because it was just a major loss for the city in general. And I signed up for a different marathon actually and ran it a couple weeks ago and then when this came back on board I signed up for this too. But then Run With Paula events got the green light from the city to take over. It's been a whirlwind it, but it has been really fun and I've had tons of support and tons of help. Here they come, a good looking group of finishers. On race day there was one hiccup though involving a passing train. So we got stopped for about maybe two minutes or so. It's, it's like my worst nightmare actually. It's probably the worst thing that could happen for these folks that are out there trying so hard to like qual qual qualify for Boston and they're stopped. A couple years ago I got stuck behind a train, finished uh, like five minutes slower than I would have. Despite the train trouble, Lewis was the first female marathon runner to cross the finish line. Uh, so it was just kind of a mess, but it's it's Portland, it's raining, it's part of the it's part of the atmosphere, and you just gotta roll with it. And runners we spoke with still had fun. Perfect running weather for runners. Tomonori Sakamoto, a marathoner from Japan who finished first for men, says this is his first time running in the States, and he's definitely coming back. Nice, very nice. And so will many of these runners. And I'm just happy to have finished and had a good race. In Portland, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.